Hi, Delilah. It's your dad. It is, um, let's see, July 27th. It's around 10 o'clock in the morning, my time, which means it's like 9 o'clock in the morning, your time. Um, I got some notes for, from church, like I told you I, I would give you at the end of every month. Um, I didn't get many notes this month because um, Daddy spent more time talking than <laughs> he did listening. Um, my pastor and people there think I have a pretty inspirational story. My life story, I guess. Um, they, they believe God has been in my life for a long time, not just recently. <laughs> um, I love you, Delilah, so very much. I miss you every single day, every single second. Some crazy stuff happened a couple nights ago, but your dad's all right. I'm a Terminator. <laughs> you know that. Um, let me just start here. They asked us a question the other day. Who has you? Who has you? Does God have you, or do you have God? They want you to surrender everything to God. Your heart, your mind, your soul, your resources. And when, when, when I say resources, remember that doesn't just mean money. Resources means your talent. For me, my resources would be my my experiences, my knowledge, my <laughs> my so-called wisdom. <laughs> um, resources in church doesn't mean just money. Uh, trust God's promises. God asks you to test Him. Pe people always, I've always heard growing up, you know, you're not supposed to question God. You're not supposed to test Him. You're not supposed to, you know, things like that. No, that's, that's not true, Delilah. God wants you to ask Him questions. God, God wants to talk to you. God, God wants you to test Him so He can show you how, how true and, and strong and righteous He is. Everybody in the Bible was tested. Everybody. I also just wanted to remind you individually, Delilah, my little girl, you are God's masterpiece. You really are. You, your mom and I tried so long to have a little baby. And then one day, here comes Delilah. <laughs> when everything goes wrong, you might be down, but you're not out. Meaning, like me, like, when, when you and your mom left, I felt horrible. Doesn't mean it's over. I'll get to see you again. One day you're my little girl. Love conquers everything. I just miss you so much. It drives me crazy. Um, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray for everything. Okay? Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray for everything. Turn your worry into prayers. You know? Don't, don't sit there and worry about something. God's in control, baby. Talk to God about your problems, your worries. Can all of your worries add a single moment to your life? Mine can't. <laughs> I've worried a lot, and, and all those worries I have doesn't do anything for me except make me sad and, and feel scared and you know worried about the future but, but once I talk to God about this it all goes away because I have faith and I trust God's going to help me God won't let me get hurt God puts us through the toughness the toughest situations you know Unfortunately for me, <laughs> I've had a lot of them in my life. Um, God puts us through that to teach us faith and to teach us to trust in Him. I never have until recently, <laughs> until June 18th, 2015. Focus on the solution and not the problem. Don't worry about the problem at hand. Worry about how to fix it. I'm not worried about 
about losing you. I know you're safe where you're at with your mom. So I can't worry about that. All I can do is worry about how to fix it. How I can be the greatest dad you've ever known. How, how when I'm an old man, you're looking at me like, Dad, you were the best dad. Even though, even though, you know, I didn't get to be with you. You provided for me a lot. I got to be like that. Because I, I'm focusing on the solution. How to, how to make my little girl proud. <laughs> Ask God for a better way, not a bailout. You know, don't, don't, don't be like, God, oh, please, please, God, help me. Help me get out of this situation. Help me, you know, help me, uh, help me get a bunch of money or something. No, don't ask for that. Ask God instead. Ask, Lord, help me, help me to find a better way around this. I know there's a way. You know, I know you'll provide me with a way. Knowledge, baby. It, it's, you can't ask for, for a bell out. You can't ask for huh. I guess I don't know how to, to, to just explain that one very well yet because I'm I'm still kinda of stuck on that myself. I, I'm still learning how to how to 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 see the solution, how how to how to How to ask for a better way, rather than just instant help. It's hard for me to ask for help, Delilah. Ask your mom. It's, I don't ask for help. It's hard for me. Not to mention, I don't have anybody to help me. This one I like. Jesus is about new beginnings. Love God, baby. I know every single day you wake up, you say, thank you, God, for this beautiful day. But that's not enough. You're getting older now to, to where you can you can talk to God. You can talk to God about your feelings. You know, about what makes you sad, about what, what makes you happy. Talk to God, sweetheart. He's, he's all around you all the time. You don't, you don't have to pray. You can, just, you can just sit down and pretend like God is sitting right there next to you. Talk to him. He'll hear you. I do. I love you so much, Delilah. And I miss you every single day. I miss you so much that if you were right here, right now, on my lap, hugging me, I would still miss you. That's how much I miss you, baby. I'm, I'm so glad I get to see you another day and and, and I'm, I'm so grateful, Delilah. I'm so grateful to be your dad. I'm so thankful to have you in my life. I love you so much. I'm going to let you go now, okay? so quiet and lonely without you here. I don't know how much more I can take. I just wish I could turn it off. I love you, Delilah. I love you every second of every single day. And I'll never stop. Even when I'm dead and gone, I will still love you. And I'll still be watching you. And I'll still be smiling at you. And kissing you on your little forehead. Even when you're an old lady. I love you, my sweetheart. Goodbye.